As I sit and reminisce on beginning my journey here uh, to HTC, I remember sitting, I was a medical support assistant for the government, and I was sitting there thinking, it has got to be a better way to make a living. So I procrastinated for a while, and then I eventually resigned from my job and decided to make that step. I went to admissions and asked what I needed to do to get started as a student. After I completed the steps, I knew that it was the best decision that I had made, besides my children, of course. My biggest fear is failure. But then I realized that failure is not um, the unknown, but failure is not doing what you need to do and what you want to do. So I figured that failure is not an option. For some of us, going back to school is to enhance our career that we already have. And for myself and others, it's about embarking on a new career that we have never attempted or know anything about. The career path that I chose was automation robotics engineering technology. To take a career on a career that I had zero knowledge about was nerve wracking. I remember when I first started, I didn't know how to use a hammer, screwdriver, nothing really. I remember Jeff telling me to, to Kanda, make sure you get a ratchet set that's in a case. And I was like, okay, no problem. I was like, but I have a question for you. He was like, what? I said, what's a ratchet? <laughs> so he showed me and I did it. So it has been quite a journey. Um, you know, I've never did a career that you actually have to get your hands dirty or that you didn't have to dress up. So it's pretty cool, I always have to get to wear jeans and a t-shirt every day. <laughs> this has been quite an honor and it's so empowering knowing that I will and I am the first African American from this school to graduate from this program. So I have reached out to my fellow women and my sisters and said, hey, you guys should try something different. I'm like, you know, you guys, I've traded in my heels for a hard hat. <laughs> we don't wear hard hats, but it sounds nice. But on the other hand, it has been a challenge because I have went from working from time it was time to work since I was 19 up until I decided to resign from my job. That had to be the most, one of the most hardest decisions that I have ever made because I have two children. So doing that, it was a struggle trying to go to class as well as be a single parent. I studied. People were like, oh, when do you sleep? And I said, sleep is overrated. I would sleep when I'm done. We had to battle, we, me and my children had battled a lot. We went through homelessness, I was depressed, but it, doesn't, it didn't matter, because as Jeff thought, you know, I was always smiling and giggling all the time. Because I just figured that my ending was gonna be greater than my beginning. So although many things have inspired me and motivated me to continue my goal, my biggest inspiration are my two children, Elijah and Zakari. If it wasn't for them, I know that this would not have been possible. They are my world, and I love you both. You guys I have been so strong and resilient through this. This degree is for the both of you. My other inspiration is my mom, who stepped in and took care of my boys this semester so that I can focus and finish on my classes. They and she has encouraged me every step of the way. Her words to me that failure is not an option will always stay with me. Graduating today means the world to me. I have completed my degree, and I can now move on to the next step in my life. I am a true believer that encouragement, determination, and hard work pays off. On behalf of myself and my fellow classmates, I want to take this time to thank our family, our friends, and mentors. Also, we would also like to thank the faculty and staff and HTC Foundation for the many scholarships that you have provided. Lastly, congratulations to all my fellow graduates. Thank you. In the state of Minnesota, we are the original automation robotics um, program, and we are the only program that focuses specifically on the packaging industry, which is a really wide industry that gets utilized throughout all of manufacturing. For the most part, anyone can walk into this program and be successful. 
when they come in, we start everyone off at the same level. Different students will progress at different speeds, but we can take pretty much any student who has a desire to learn, a desire to work hard, and a desire to become a contributing member of the workforce and mold them and give them the training that they need to be successful in manufacturing. Bringing in all the vital workforce skills into one concise area of automation and robotics leads to a variety of tasks, making our students and future employees very versatile in the job market and able to perform most, if not all, of the functions needed by a maintenance technician in the field. So we give a variety of experiences for both the hands-on approach and knowledge approach, which both items are needed to be successful once the students go out and uh, get jobs out in the field as field service technicians, as maintenance technicians, as salespeople, whatever the um, workforce need is that for that individual person.